Ladies and gentlemen, we got a wild one today. I'm talking about a crazy one. Not one, but two pet pigs. Yes, that's right. You read the thumbnail correctly. Pet pigs. I wish I could tell you that this was the first, second, or third time we've cleaned carpets for somebody that has a pet pig. And actually, ferrets are far worse. But the carpet was in pretty rough shape. It was also polyester, so there was a lot of areas that were crushed, um, but we put a hurt on this job. It was Cole, myself, and Thomas, and again, we pulled out all the stops. This is the first job of the day. We were here for about an hour and a half. You guys are going to love this show because it, like I said, the vacuuming, from the vacuuming all the way until the extraction and the grooming, it is amazing. So enjoy the show. Mash the thumbs up. Leave a comment below, and please, if you haven't done so, please consider subscribing to our channel because I'm on a roll. I think this is day like 54 day in a row publishing daily vlogs. So, hey, talk to you guys tomorrow probably. When we arrived, all the vacuuming had already been done except for this room here, which was the master bedroom. So, of course, we did go ahead and vacuum again on all the other areas that needed to be vacuumed. But this one room alone had more dry soil than all the other rooms combined. And we're not doing the tile, but this is just to kind of show you that the pigs were allowed in here um, quite a bit and so the tile I kind of wish we were cleaning that as well but you can just see that the master bedroom was probably the most severely uh, stained this is the living room that Cole's vacuuming right now there was a hole there and a couple other issues with the carpet that we did offer them a price for repairing the carpet and you can see one of the pigs out there um, one of the two pet pigs very smart animals apparently they're about as intelligent as a five-year-old which I had no idea, but um, our client informed me of several things that I was unaware of when it comes to pigs. So here's uh, the other side of the house had three bedrooms and a hall. So this is the third bedroom. Thomas ran into a little bit of vacuum trouble there. So he's had that thing flipped over and troubleshooting. Um, again, this is the master bedroom here. And Cole, I went ahead and got him vacuuming this entire room with the workhorse vacuum just to show you guys exactly how much dry soil we were able to get out of just this one room. So when I did the estimate, there was actually furniture and quite a bit of other debris all over each and every single room. Um, and as you could probably tell through the walkthrough of the house, this was the only room that really had any um, furniture in it to speak of. There was a couple other pieces in one of the other bedrooms on the other side of the house that we were able to move and block out. We just went around the bed uh, underneath it quite a bit with the wand, but Again, they had done a lot of work in terms of clearing everything out and, and pre-vacuuming for us. So here you can see a real good bit of the dry soil. Again, just one room that Cole was able to uh, pull just a ton of hair and dander. Uh, they also, in addition to having the two pet pigs, have some other animals as well. We counted at least three cats and then a small dog that was barking pretty much nonstop from the time we showed up until the time we left. So this is me applying the soap-free detergent or preconditioning treatment. And as you can probably tell, we put down quite a bit of that and immediately took the counter-rotating brush machine and went ahead to agitate that preconditioner into the face yarn of this very, very heavily soiled master bedroom. Um, because there was three of us working this job, like while Cole was actually doing this CRB or counter rotating brush machine on this room, I was actually already pre spraying the living room, the hallway, and the other three bedrooms on the other side of the house, which made it perfect because by the time I was done doing that, we immediately started the hot water extraction or steam cleaning on the master bedroom. So by the time, uh, you know, every, everybody was basically doing something the whole way. So I'd already basically done the master bedroom at this point. Unfortunately, I think my camera shut off, so we kind of missed that whole footage there. But I'm doing a little bit of this bedroom here, and then it's going to, again, shuts off for some reason, and you're going to get to see Thomas do do the rest of it. But the preconditioner we used with the agitation alone, this is one of those jobs where by the time we just pre-sprayed, vacuumed, and agitated, the carpet actually looked amazing. So 
Uh, not every single spot came out and there were a couple bleach spots in this room. This is one of the pieces that we went ahead and moved. We didn't charge them any extra or even really discuss that we were going to do that for them, but we decided to just do it while we were there. It was so easy not to and we were able to clean a good little bit extra of the room. Uh, so here we're kind of letting Thomas take the lead on the wand and kind of teaching him a couple tri uh, tricks as far as how to do the hot water extraction. He did really good. He's got excellent form for only being with us a short period of time now. I did catch him a couple times kind of hunched over the wand, but overall he's got, again, really, really good form. And most importantly, just a really good attitude. He's showing up every day early and with a great, great attitude about what we do. And he's obviously he does enjoy it, so which is a huge help. Makes it a whole lot more fun to work with people that enjoy what they do. So um, anyway, we were at this job, like I said, for about an hour and a half. It ended up being a $315 job, so significantly more expensive than a, a, just a standard cleaning because, quite honestly, this was more of a restoration cleaning that we were doing. Um, she did want to upgrade to the enzyme preconditioner because, as you can imagine, there was quite a few pet spots and other pretty significant areas of concern. So when we got done, uh, I thought about not grooming the carpet, but again, as you probably have heard if you've watched any of our other recent videos, that my mom really appreciates the um, the grooming portion. So Cole went ahead and did the spot where the bed goes first, and that, that is a bed frame, a very, very lightweight bed frame that we just moved and uh, cleaned underneath, moved it back, and put that on styrofoam blocks as well to keep it up off the carpet. After this one, we, we did close out um, an emergency water extraction job that we've been drying out for quite a few days now, and unfortunately there was several furniture stains just because even though we were able to get there really really soon after the water extraction happened wasn't quite soon enough and so the cedar chest and a couple of chairs had left again little furniture stains in uh, the living room and in the master closet so I didn't really think we would be able to remove those but we went over and tried anyways and sure enough we were able to get those removed about 90 to 95 percent uh, just using our red out and our steamer which I was really thrilled about, and so was the uh, our customer as well. So that was pretty neat. And so Cole got to do some wanding here at this point. This is the living room. This was the last room that we did, and we had already done. So the master bedroom got done, the hallway, and all three of the bedrooms. One of the most disappointing things about this job was the fact that I was really, really looking forward to capturing the dumping of the recovery tank or the dump tank into the bucket at the end of the job but unfortunately Cole and Thomas did not get the memo to wait and so they dumped that and emptied that before I was able to get it on video unfortunately so uh, but other than that they did really really good today we only had two jobs for them and also that water extraction follow-up that we ended up closing out um, then Sonny and Lyndon worked today in the other van and they also only had two jobs so kind of a slower Friday for us but kind of a nice way to wrap up the week because we've had some um, pretty pretty longer days and, and been pretty busy and also this weekend we are going to be working on Sunday which is kind of rare but every quarter we clean the Chick-fil-A and of course it's a whole lot easier to clean on Sunday because if you're not aware uh, that's the one day that they're actually not open so we, we clean Chick-fil-A we do the tile and grout floors and also we do the upholstered booths that they have several upholstered booths that, as you can imagine, need to be professionally cleaned pretty regularly. So, um, again, there's some areas in the living room you can probably tell, even after grooming, that are crushed pretty badly, and that is a result of polyester fibers. So the polyester fibers have a tendency to get crushed a whole lot easier than nylon. Hey, um, so after the job, hey. I went and visited the pigs. How are ya? How are ya? Hey, Lulu. Hi. Hey, Lulu. Hey. How are you? Are you smart as a five-year-old? So today is day 16 of eating really, really well. I fast till noon every day and this is my little lunch slash salad I have sprouts avocado four different kinds of bean great northern black red pinto I've got arugula baby lettuce kale spinach um, brown rice soy curls 
whole bunch of different things in this oh yellow onions that I sauteed anyway it's absolutely delicious and again I'm really proud of myself for sticking to my diet it hasn't been super easy but uh, it's been well worth it I feel so much better have a lot more energy and I really appreciate everybody taking the time to watch this if you haven't done so go ahead and please mash that thumbs up uh, comment below if you made it to the end type in the comments made it to the end and of course as always don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching